Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft video. So, do you remember the old sand duplication glitch? Yes, it was cool. You could just, uh, yeah, clone sand and gravel and it uh, was really helpful for crafting TNT and get tons of glass and sand, but uh, sadly Jeb fixed it. But, yeah, he failed. So, yeah, I, after he f uh, the, there was the fix where the original sand uh, duplicator, duplicator didn't work anymore, I thought it, it would probably not possible anymore and I tried several designs but I never got something working. But then, now I found something very interesting. So you can see, um, this is a block detector. It simply detects when a block is placed here, torch is below, powers this piston here, pushes it one block to the side. This piston here gets also a signal and what's interesting is that uh, I saw I saw it in multiplayer, uh, you can trust me it's also the same in single player, uh, this redstone here stays off so it's it shuts down in the sam sam same tick so it's uh, a zero tick uh, signal and yeah this zero tick signal can actually clone blocks. So. Uh, what I found out, if, if you spam this very quickly, you can, it's only working in single player, you can duplicate the sand here. So in single player you can pl place the blocks that fast, in multiplayer it doesn't work, that you will get another one. But okay, we of course want to automate this and there is the problem, you can't just place a piston and fire in another blocks ra uh, rapidly. For some reason it doesn't work if a piston pushes a block here. Then the uh, piston here just becomes uh, yeah, uh, clocked up in a both extended and retracted state. You may know uh, these buggy pistons and it doesn't work at all. But yeah, there is another way. So what I thought is, if you can't place a piston, or uh, can't push a block to there, what if a sand falls down? And now guess what? We cloned the sand, so let me do it just with one, so you can see easier. Two sand blocks. Yeah, actually working. So. Uh, this simply, uh, yeah, um, the sand falls so quickly in there that it uh, makes this rapid pulse, which also works um, when you fire click it. And yeah, but this is still not automate. So let's go on inventing. Okay, so the next step is to, um, yeah, just uh, do two of uh, build two, uh, um, yeah, another two uh, of these pistons which duplicate the sand. And simply, if you push the button here, these two sand blocks will push in the middle, do the same as the other ones, and clone uh, this one again. So, you can see they are cloning the sand. I'm uh, pushing it into the void because otherwise if the stack here is uh, at full length, it's, uh, yeah, it freezes, so we have to get rid of the sand anyway. And yeah, we can do a, a stack here which fills, it up, it fills itself up uh, till it reaches 12 meters. Okay, so yeah, next step is done. How can we improve this? As we don't need these blocks here anymore, I just use gravel because it lo more looks like waste. But uh, yeah, the, the next step is obviously uh, putting a clock to here, so to make this automate. And the fastest clock is this one here. So it's 11 ticks and it's uh, only 4 ticks on, but it could be less, but uh, it, that doesn't matter at all because, um, yeah, you can see it basically. The piston is retracted way before the uh, next gravel comes up. So, two gravels are generated here and then fall into the void. And what I did here is just connect all the redstone till the end. So you can't uh, use repeaters here, they uh, do wreck the signal, it's, uh, therefore you can't make it infinitely. But uh, this is pretty insane. Okay, so um, the top row here simply pushes uh, pushes it off. Uh, it has two tick delay to the two um, yeah, blocks here and yeah, you can see 
perfectly works. But uh, now, if you don't want the sand block but the sand item, the next step is to build the super duper new piston invention, which is the sand factory. Hooray! Infinite sand again! So you can also push the items into the void if you want to see it in action while uh, not standing uh, at the drop point. So there is just ice below these water streams here and I will explain what the fences do. So um, yeah, add two rows on top of each other and here is the waste, the exhaust fumes which are dropped into the void too. And yeah, so the sand needs a block uh, below where it will uh, wants to fall on and stand if there is a, uh, a non-solid block above, uh, it can't be placed there and therefore it uh, yeah, becomes an item. So the problem is that every block which is collision masked has also the ability to yeah that the sand will fall on top of it instead of to the side. So most of the sand will fall to the side, but some lands on the top. And the fence gates simply open in between the pulses and therefore let all the sand fall down, which is pretty cool. So if you want to take a look inside, here is the fast pulse generator. Okay, these here control the fence gates and these are the two rows on top of each other. It looks pretty weird because all the redstone is off on at all times because the pulse is so fast, but it works. And yeah, just the two rows and the pulser is over here and controlled uh, by the lever. Okay, so uh, this uh, machine can generate about 30 um, sand blocks per second, which is pretty fast. Okay, thank you for watching and see you next time!